Hey guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a cleaning day I reckon um I haven't cleaned my room in a while um and just going through my actual collecting room and it is a mess at the moment so as you can see behind me this is all my stock at the moment um I think I showed you guys before but I did a little bit of cleaning last night um as you can see it is uh sort of stacked up there and i got all my etbs here i actually need to go buy some more containers um as you can see i've got a whole lot there not in protective cases <laughs> stay in that room please uh I'm talking to my dogs as you can see they're right there <laughs> they want to come in <laughs> they're not allowed in this room um they know that um but no i think today we'll get some cleaning done and organize up a few areas because actually have a look at this my stuffed toy area <laughs> look at that look at how messy it is so i think that's what we're going to do today and hopefully we can uh yeah get some more space available in this room <laughs> so ideally when you walk through the door don't mind the cane chair and the calming blanket there i just got a calming blanket from the company um awesome blanket i can't wait to try it out but once you walk in um there is a soft toy area this is majority of the soft toys and um, as you can see it is a mess i need to clean it up but when you walk in this is my work desk at the moment um as you can see i'm there's still a lot of uh mess around from cleaning yesterday um but then you walk in these are just uh mystery itty bees that i'm creating for market day uh they're going to be for five dollars each you get um sleeves dice counters whole bunch of hollows um and some random uncommon common cards they're just for kids so that's five dollars each i th thought that would be a really nice gesture for um the next generation but once you walk in you got a little bit of hasbro stuff some bags um some random stuff up top some plushies uh then you walk down here You've got the wall of uh, booster boxes here, um, blisters, uh, yeah, sock. Um, uh, I've recently just put up the ETB wall here at the moment. Um, but you walk here, you've got majority of my DVDs, videos, um, ocean bomb cans, just a bit of random stuff there because I don't really know where to put everything at the moment. Um, yeah, all my stock that um i gotta go through and realize what i want to open what i don't want to open um and what's for the collection walk through here i've kind of made this the uh random stuff area at the moment um as you can see it's very messy and then back there i've got my <laughs> detective pikachu set up uh as you can see through there uh yeah messy as i know um up there you've got pops you can see that, uh, but then I've got some pops there. I need to, yeah, find a room for, as you can tell. There is just not much room here. Um, shoes, Pokemon shoes. I'm a big collector of shoes. And as you can tell, don't know if you can see, there is all shoes there as well. Don't mind the bashing and crashing. It is my partner just cleaning up the backyard. Uh, then you've got all the old games, newer games, consoles, uh, some random stuff some consoles <laughs> uh, some more stuff up here yep and then we go here all my watsy vintage stuff once again do not mind the mess because it is um yeah i am cleaning so i'm just trying to make everything uh so normally i work on one area put everything aside to one area and then work on that area um as you can tell, I've kind of put everything into this area first. Uh, that's why there is so much room here, because this this was basically full of stuff. Um, so next area to work on is all this plushy area. I need to put all these Hasbro stuff uh, in cabinets um, and, yeah, find room for everything. So, yeah, big mission today, I reckon. So when I was basically cleaning this whole area last night, it took me around three hours to do. Yes, I know it's a long time, but there is so much to do, so much cleaning to do, dusting um, and sorting everything because all this stuff here, I don't know what to do with it. Like, <laughs> it's hard because some of it is collecting, um, but then also some of it is going to be opening for the channel. So uh, I just need to figure out what 
to do with everything because even like look at this this is my psa card seal stacked up um so yeah i just need to go through everything so yeah today's gonna be fun hey excuse me what are you doing in this room come on yep you're not supposed to be in here come on and their run who's running i have four french bulldogs so and <laughs> there is the other one happy <laughs> but yeah come on yep Personally, I'm a little bit annoyed by this area here. I feel like there's a lot of space wasted, um, especially with this cabinet. Um, I think for me personally, I want to get some more um, cabinets and put them against the wall because I reckon I could fit probably, what, one, two, three, four, five, probably five, but even though it's going to be covering the window, I just feel like... There is so much space here wasted because if if we go around here um, and look behind it, like nothing's there. Well, some stuff down there, but um, like nothing's there. So I feel like we could do the same what we've done on that side, but here. Um, but then obviously there's so much space on the wall. I don't really know what to do. Um, but yeah, I don't know because it's hard because there's so much things, so many things I want to do in this room. Um, like, for example, I want to upgrade my gaming desk, well, uh, work area. I want to get, um, like, go to Ikea and get one of those, um, you know, Alexander drawers and then the bench and then actually make a big space and then um, put up my um, computer monitors on arms and stuff like that. It's There's a lot of things I want to do and, you know, I just feel like I don't have that much state space to work with at the moment. So it's a bit hard. I've also put this box aside, this box here. Um, so this is my, this is going to be my sort of cell box. Um, this is like all my doubles and triples and quadruples or whatever. Cause I've got that much stuff. <laughs> so, um, yeah, trying to figure all that out. What I'm going to do with that. I think I might do a few giveaways with the vintage stuff. Um, and then this boxes just some random stuff i found in the room that doesn't need to be here and over there as you can see there is some towers there that need to go into that cabinet there to put up the tommy figures um because as you can see they're just like that and i feel like there's so much room up here wasted so if they were on a tier system um which is that there it would look so much better um i just feel like yeah I've sort of rushed into displaying this room um, and now that I look at it you know I could do so much better so that's pretty much what I'm trying to do. <laughs> but yeah obviously a room like this is incredible to have um, first off uh, which I'm so grateful to have all this Pokemon stuff. I know you know a lot of people would be um, quite uh, envious and they would want all this stuff so you know i've worked quite hard for this you know i've been collecting for what four five six years um a while now so um to get where i'm at is pretty incredible and considering where i was uh it's pretty special to me but no, i sometimes um feel like i take this for granted a little bit um but yeah at the same time this yeah so much i want to do in this room um it's just trying to get it out and display uh i wish i had so much so much more room but one day one day okay so i just basically went straight to kmart um to get some more uh etb protectors um i've some of these uh i said it in my last uh my previous videos that i get these from um kmart they are $7 each and they are perfect for keeping your ETBs um, yeah, protected. And as you can see, they stacked really well. So I got eight of these. So yeah, let's get these in. Um, yeah, these filled up with ETBs, but that's probably uh, my first agenda on cleaning this room. <laughs> Uh, as you can tell right now, so I've got um, this huge tower of ETBs, but on my Champions Path ones, you can see there's a like plastic um, case around it, which I'm not like a huge fan of. I actually quite like how these stack up and they um, present um, instead of these. Like they look okay, but um, from a collector's point of view, I would rather everything look the same. Um, and I know that eight isn't going to be enough for them, but then I also found two ETBs there. 
So we've got a Darkness Ablaze one and a Burning Shadows one. But then I also found uh, three ETBs in my sales cabinet. There's a Rebel Clash one down there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, the yellow one and then two sh sh sword and shield ones there. Um, yes, I cannot say that um, one correctly. And then I've got four four here, but these are these are to open. So I've got two Battlestar ones, a Zam Center one, and then an Involving Skies there as well. So... Just easy bees everywhere at the moment. So at the moment I've got five free. Um, so I've got three in there and the two there. So that will be done. But then I've also got all these um, blisters here. Not really sure what I'm going to do with them and how to display them. If anyone's got any ideas, please help because I've got them. But then I've also got a whole um like tray full here oh god just everything everywhere so if you have any suggestions please let me know because yeah don't really know how to display them i need like a whole pin board or pin board or something like that hmm not too sure Okay, so basically I went ahead and put a few of the champions' paths and a chilling range, and then I ended up getting the burning shadow and sword and shield uh, darkness ablaze one in there because um, I can't exactly get to them at the moment. I'll do that later, but they will be uh, protected in there anyway. So, yeah, um, looking okay. Basically changed my mind. <laughs> Okay, this is what happens when I clean. I clean for like 10 minutes. I sit down and I just doze off. I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes now. <laughs> just scrolling on my phone. <sighs> okay, so this area looks a little bit cleaner. So I just got up. <laughs> um, I've put the ladder there because I've put some Lego stuff up there. Um, just to get it out of the way. Um, I've got some of my folders still here. Underneath the puzzle, I've um, got several sets because all my binder sets go down here. Um, I just don't have space for them, so they're going to stay there, I'm guessing. Uh, and yeah, still going to attack this side now. Um, actually, you know how I said these were going to go in here? They don't bloody fit. They're too big. Um, so it can only fit one in there which is annoying so don't know what i'm going to do there even in the single um cabinets one of them doesn't even fit in there so yeah don't know don't know what i'm going to do probably should have measured them before i actually ordered them but i'm sure i'll find use for them some other way or for something else or i might actually get some more billy cupboards and like um do like a wall of uh, Hasbro Tommy figures or something like that. And then I could actually have them side by side. Um, that might work. Uh, but yeah, don't know. Not really sure what I'm going to do there. But uh, I'll work it out. <laughs> I feel like I haven't done much. But I feel like I have. Like we've done the big wall. <laughs> um, we've cleaned up this area here. Um, done over there. Yeah, I feel like we've done a lot, but I haven't really done a lot. It's a bit confusing today. Like, I've been a Kmart, maybe that's why. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, as you can see, I've just put all the uh, Hasbro uh, silver collection in here. Even though they are a bit crammed up in there. That would do for now. But, yeah. Looking good. So with the Wizard of Coast stuff, I've just basically moved all my blisters from down there all the way up here. And then moved my graded uh, booster packs up here all in one, even though that just fell down. Um, 
but yeah, uh, I think this looks better. And then also I've got a space, some space there to put some just random bits. Um, but no, looking good so far, except that bit. <laughs> okay, now I've set it back up, so looking nice. Yep, I'm happy with that. Thanks. Alright, now time to move stuff into that bit there. So the first thing I'm actually putting down there is my electronic um, Pikachus. Uh, I got this box off of eBay. I paid around $300 for it. And they're just all sealed uh, Pikachu ones. Um, yeah, not too bad. So they'll go in there first because it is the biggest item so far. Alrighty, that looks a bit neater now. Done that. And then I've just put away all my binder sets, um, as you can see. It does look a little bit messy, but it's better than on the floor here. So let's have a look at the area now. Looks so much cleaner. Um, <laughs> not sure what I'm going to do with this. This is my um, my steamer that I got for Christmas. But um, yeah, it just sits in this room. So yeah. Um, to be honest, for now, I'll probably just move that over there and then that box on top of it um, just to get it out of the way because I do need this area here um, tomorrow to take some photos for a few companies. So, yeah. So, as you can see, this area has been cleaned up a fair bit, but at the moment, it's got my calming blanket here. So, this is uh, what I showed you at the start of the video. Um, it's a it's a blanket that is to, um, designed to improve your sleep and reduce uh, stress and anxiety. And I think it's bloody amazing. I literally sat down and napped once again. Um, <laughs> so I've basically done all the filming for this. Uh, they'll be on Instagram soon. So a quick little shout out to Calming Blankets. Um, this blanket is in fact nine kilos uh, heavy and it is bloody amazing. I can't yeah praise them enough of how awesome it is and i absolutely loved it i've basically had my um partner try and steal it off me already because he he has uh quite um bad sleeps here and there so he literally just sat down in snorlax and dozed off as well so he's trying to steal that off me um already so he's not getting his hands on that but please if a weighted um blanket interests you in any sort of way i've got a code aj115 it will take 115 dollars off your purchase of the calming blankets collection honestly i've been wanting one for a while now and i'm so glad calming blankets um reach out uh to me and you know this is bloody amazing like honestly this is so good i think i'm gonna nap here again I think stuff cleaning. <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, I'm comfy. Might just doze off again. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. That's enough cleaning for today. So I'm going to head off. Um, I think we got a little bit done today. You know, I'm happy with this area. This area is clean enough, which is nice. So <laughs> time for nap. Time for bedtime. <laughs> And on that note, guys, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. <laughs> Please leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.